everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. This time, I will teach you how to trim your video or audio file using Microsoft PowerPoint. To do this, first, open your Microsoft PowerPoint. Click the slide where you want to insert your video. Click Insert. Click Video. Choose Video on my PC if the video is already saved in your computer. Look the video from your file. Click the video, then click Insert. If you do not want the entire video and you only want part of it, click the video. Then click Playback. Click Trim Video. Then you will see this dialog box. This green one is the trimming start point, while the red one is the trimming end point. Drag this green start point and red end point for the part of the video you want to use in your presentation. Example, on this slide, I want only the part of the video wherein parents gave their comments about the modular offline learning modality of Escalante Central Elementary School. Do this. Click play button to check if the part you selected is correct. If not, adjust again. Click OK after. You may click volume to adjust the volume of the video to low, medium, and high. Mute option is also here. Click automatically in here to play the video automatically during slideshow. No need to click during slide presentation. If everything is okay, then you may save your video and even convert it as movie again using PowerPoint presentation. Can we trim audio file using Microsoft PowerPoint? Yes, we can trim the audio file or music using PowerPoint. You just need to follow the same procedure in trimming video file as mentioned earlier. Click the slide you want to insert the audio, then click insert, click audio. Choose audio on my PC if the music or audio is already saved in your computer. Look the audio file in your computer. Click the speaker icon, this represents your music. Click playback, then click trim audio. Adjust Start and Endpoint Trim. In this case, I will just use the chorus part of Escalante Central Elementary School hymn. Click Play for checking. Click OK after. You may adjust the volume of your audio into low, medium, and high. Click automatically if you want to play the audio automatically upon slideshow. To check your slides, click Slideshow, then click from the beginning or from current slide, depending what slide you want to preview. But in this case, I will choose from the beginning to check my first slide up to the last slide. Kung magbida ng audio video, ano sa mga bata kay dira may mga sample ko sa video na maka nitsintigit sila. Ako ko interesado sa mga bata na kita. Mas mo prefer siya ko ma audio and video. At least natin ko na siya makita. Ma-visualize ma yung mismo sa bata pa ang subject nga yahang gusto nga sa dahilihan. Sa yun naman sa bata, kaya makikita siya sa video ba, makikita niya na yung mag-struggle ko doon. Ang 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 mag-struggle ko doon
Okay. Okay. Kung pala niya sa, sa laptop, ka-smile na siya, ka-enjoy siya. Tapos so, sa time na gusto siya nga mong answer, binapost niya lang. Pagkatapos, pag di niya makuha, binarepeat niya. Kung niya, basta basigil na dyan siya ka ng katawa. Nalipay ko kung namakotin niya reaksyon. Ay, mura pa niya ng pressure ba sa iyang apart? Uh, sa... Uh, ato ang na, na-dry na tanong niya. Hindi ma na. Offline. Which is very good. Hindi siya tayo. Very attentive ang ato ang learner. Kung may video. Para feel nila naga na sila sa tulad sa class. Kung ito na kumang pinaginga ang sistema, wala yung ako lang para sa sita na. Ako alam. Ano niya ako sa ipan mo na sa mga And that's how you trim your video and audio file using Microsoft PowerPoint. Hope you gained something on my video tutorial. Again, my name is Mr. Jem Raymond Chen, Master Teacher 2 of Escalante Central Elementary School, Schools Division of Escalante City. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated on my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe everyone!